it, it was extremely important to have our students be part of something bigger than them. To amplify their voice, to give them that platform. We want them to have more opportunities for STEM and STEAM. And what better to use these STEM and STEAM skills to solve problems within their own neighborhood and community. just us trying to send a positive message to our Jersey City community to not litter because think about it, if we really think about it, we're human beings and we're treated so fairly, but what about our animals and in fact other living organisms? They're suffering with litter out there. Animals! There are a lot of animals that are dying, they're dying, they're dying, they're dying, they're dying, they're dying from This song that we created is called Our Plan and we're just trying to better spread a positive message to our Jersey City residents so they could not litter and Jersey City could become a more sustainable place to live in. Uh, our schools um, in our district all make an idea or design an idea and we put forward that idea and Whichever school has the best idea wins the competition. There's a lot of places in our school where we'd like it to be cleaner. We've uh, walked around our, in our schools for a very long time as seniors, and we've seen it hasn't really gone um, better at cleaning or recycling. We are preparing for our original plan, which is called um, Cash for Trash. That is the name of our project. It's an original project that was um, made by this guy and Pamela. Um, so the essential plan of Cash for Trash is we gamified the idea of recycling because nobody enjoys, well, some people do enjoy recycling, but there are those that, there are a lot of people who don't recycle for the main reason because there's no incentive behind it. So by gamifying recycling, we've given students, primarily we're doing it in school communities, We've given, we've given them an incentive for recycling. So basically, our idea is to create a, almost like a basket, and we're going to install it under each storm drain. Um, how this will work basically is when the trash goes into the storm drain, instead of going to the sewers and ending up in the oceans, um, the basket will catch and trap it. My name is Zanodine, and some criteria and constraints you may want to take account when it comes to our prototype is that it must be easy accessible to allow water to drain into the sewer, and it must, and it must be able to allow garbage to be collected on top of the sewer grate. And our sustainable solution is repopulating oysters in the Hudson River. We want to use our reef designs to be able to successfully repopulate, also using the sunken pier stumps in the Hudson River. Oysters have lots of benefits, such as filtering, naturally filtering the water, protecting us from storms by creating breakwaters and absorbing the wave's energy, reducing sedimentation in the Hudson River, and just there are no more oysters left in the Hudson River, and we want to change that. Our project is about, about drivers, because around our neighborhood on Ocean Avenue, people keep on speeding and there's no um, slow down signs for schools that can tell drivers to slow down. So our solution was to create a 3D printed design. So this is our first prototype. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I had the privilege of judging the third through fifth graders, and I have to say that I'm incredibly impressed with the work that you all have done. You've come up with some great ideas around sustainable cities. First, I would just want to say thank you to the teachers and the principals and the administrators, and I know you have the superintendent who's out here today. And so if we could just say thank you to all of them for the work that they do. And 
Um, and, and, I, and I want to say thank you to all the students that are here that share their ideas and, and their inventions uh, with Mira and I. We're happy for the winners, obviously, of course. And we feel relieved that we know the answer. We still know that our project is a good idea. But maybe we can implement it some other way. Well, we definitely learned that working as a team, um, it made everything more containable and everything more achievable. I think the first part was identifying the problem that we wanted to solve. And from there, we just looked at the different possible solutions and tried to figure out which one was best for our community. So for the issue of like uh, water flooding, there are options like uh, installing rain gardens, uh, impermeable pavements. We tried to go with rain barrels because our uh, Jersey City actually offers really like rain barrels for free for the community. So we thought it was very accessible for everyone. This is a collaboration that's been three years in the making. So, um, you know, to be able to go from having 75 students participate in the first year to over a thousand this year, um, this is the largest scale science challenge that the city has hosted. The theme this year was sustainable neighborhoods and the idea was that people were going into their neighborhoods and finding sustainability issues and creating solutions to those using science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Next year, the theme will be climate action. So we're really excited to see what the students do with that.